Hi, welcome to Environmental Management. Today I'd like to go over a few of the most important information that hopefully will introduce you to this course. Environmental Management is a very broad discipline. It includes both environmental and natural resource components. In this class we will focus on the natural resource side by emphasizing adaptive resource management and strategic habitat conservation goals and objectives. So what is environmental management? I like a definition that was written by Rosemary O'Leary et al. in 1999. She said environmental management is an interactive process wherein we learn how social institutions can best reconcile humankind's needs and aspirations with the limits that the natural world imposes. To reconcile means to pay in full. Just like at your bank you will reconcile your debits and credits to determine what your actual balance is, so must we determine how what is best for humans can be balanced against what the natural world allows. For this class we will be taking an anthropocentric viewpoint. This means that in order for us to implement what we want to try to accomplish in our management objectives, we must determine whether that policy or that procedure would be viewed by humans as an advantage. So from our perspective as an environmental manager, we want to make sure we have a win-win scenario. Thus, in order for us to be successful, not only do we need to balance information and limitations from the natural world, but we also must benefit the human species. We have a very impressive and ambitious series of course learning objectives for this class. As in most disciplines, we are going to learn a lot of unique terminology. Some would call it another language, since it will be filled with acronyms, government-specific language referring to laws, and will include terms that in some cases have not been well defined. We will focus on human behavior, specifically interpersonal communication and conflict resolution issues that can be barriers to effective management. We will strategize to develop well-defined goals and objectives that will enable us to implement adaptive management approaches for effective environmental policy decision making. We will rely heavily on data and published scientific information to make informed management and policy decisions. The goal will be to create successful strategies that can be measured and facilitate our organization's mission. Part of that mission will require that we analyze our outreach strategies, which at times are often just as important in formulating as the original policy. As part of your course project for this semester, you will produce a strategic adaptive management plan for controversial environmental management issue. I'd like you to start thinking about a topic this week. Let me know what you think might be of interest. This will be part of your first forum, our second issue topic. We have lots of tools that we'll be using this semester. Please be sure to watch the week one introductory video by our program director, Dr. Carol Polio. In this video, she provides information on our program and describes what is expected from you as a student at American Public University. Our textbooks and the strategic information contained within the adaptive management document will provide a series of important papers for us to read and consider in our discussions and coursework. I would like to take one more minute of your time to talk about my expectations for the class. Each week you'll have a weekly assignment that is displayed both in the forum and the lessons. 
The directions indicate we want you to provide a substantial initial post of your information that you are contributing for the class. This should be a minimum of 250 words. Content less than that cannot really provide the amount of detail that we need to understand your position and input. Your post should have at least two references that support your logic in position. In addition, I would like you to read your peers' post, but with over 20 people in the classroom, I realize that you probably will not be able to read everything you would like. So please read and respond to at least two of your peers each week. This should be a substantial response that includes at least 250 words and builds from what they have said or provided as references. For example, perhaps a peer indicates some information about some particular controversial issue that you found interesting. What I would like to see you do is to pick up on those points and add additional detail to benefit others. I would like your initial post to be added to the forum no later than Thursday night by midnight. You will then have until Sunday night at midnight to respond to two of your peers. Please note that each week there will be assignments that will appear in the lessons section of the classroom. Here you will find my notes for the week based on your required readings and templates for the weekly assignments. I would appreciate if you would please put your written work directly on the template. This will provide consistency and streamline your approach and mine as well for grading. Each weekly assignment will build towards the overall course project. At the end of the session, you will have completed an adaptive management plan for your specific topic of interest. I will provide at least one opportunity for extra credit, so please stay tuned for additional details and information. I am pleased to have you in class, and I wish you well in your academic pursuits and great success this session. I hope that you will view my background movie that I posted on YouTube so that you can get to know me a little better. I also hope that you will take the chance and let me get to know you. Best wishes. Please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions.